Hi guys. I wanted to show you uh, basically something that could help you in your job for laminate floor installation. Uh, I've never done anything like this before. I just installed this laminate floor, first time I've ever, ever done a job like this. I'm proud how it came out. Uh, and now I'm just about to do the finishing transitional piece that goes between the laminate floor and, in my case, the tile floor. Uh, so my problem is, on each side of the laminate floor in my living room is 10 foot by 10 foot all around, okay? Here's my issue. These transitional pieces they sell only come in 7 foot lengths. So my issue was basically figuring out what's the best way to make, to cut these two separate shorter lengths and make one nice seamless transitional piece, which I've done here. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so uh, I've got the full length of floor here uh, where the tile meets the laminate. That's 10 feet long. And uh, again, these are two separate uh, T-mount pieces that have been cut to size here to put this length. They're going to fit in there perfectly. And uh, I'm going to show you basically how to make it uh, a seamless Seamless, one seamless piece. So let's flip them upside down here. And uh, you can see, if you want to get close up of this cut here, you can see I made a beveled 45 degree cut. So that's going to come together real nice like that. And uh, just stay here, close up here so I can show you. This metal track is actually going to overlap this joint and hold that joint together nice and tight. So, and then basically the excess amount here with no show down here. See? Mm -hmm. I'm going to cut more track to finish finish off that piece. Okay, okay so let's install this uh, metal track here, which uh, this first piece of metal track is actually the uncut piece, uh, and it's again going to overlap that joint by about 12 inches. Okay, and then, so let's go ahead and snap this track into place. So basically I'm just going to line up the end of the track to the end of this team out right here and it snaps in fairly easily and you can start getting it in you don't want to force it in because that'll you know this wood is kind of flimsy so you want to just make sure it snap, snaps in so there are different methods some people say you should uh, Adhere this track to the floor first and then snap the uh, T mount into the track. But in my case, I, you know, this is going to work best for me. So your case may be different. But okay, so we come down here to where the joint is, where this cut is, and you're going to see that's going to overlap and hold that joint nice and tight. So. Let me just uh, finish snapping in right up to the end here. Okay, and then I should do that right there. Okay, you see that? Okay, so um, here is the joint right there, and as you can see, that's pretty seamless. And there's the back of it. You can see that metal track holds that joint together nice and tight. It pretty much makes that joint seamless. And if you look at this uh, overlap, it overlaps by you know about 12 inches, so you probably wanna, you don't wanna do any less than that because that'll make, make sure it keeps it tight if you overlap by about 12 inches. Okay, and then um, for the remainder of this uh, T-mount, basically I take this second piece of track here, and which is the second uh, uncut piece that came with the second T-mount. And this piece I'm going to cut. Unlike the first piece, I use that whole piece without cutting. This piece I'm going to cut to fit. Um, so I'll just line it up here. This end I'll line up to the corner. And then I'll just come down here to where it meets the other track. And I'll mark that spot. And I'll just mark it right there. And uh, I'll go cut that. So I'm using a miter saw. I'm using um, my, an old dull uh, blade to cut this metal. Okay, so we got the, uh, the the second track piece cut here, 
And uh, if you recall, the joint is right about here for the, the T-mount joint meets there. And then we're just going to track off the remaining amount of this uh, second T-mount. And basically that's just going to snap into place. Okay, so just continuing to uh, snap this metal, just pushing the track into place. Right up to the corner. You see, you can get a close up here of what that looks like as it comes down to the corner here. Let's finish that off. There you go. So, if you notice, I left a little bit of uh, space on the corner, actually on both corners, and then that gives me a little bit of uh, adjustment, you know, tiny adjustments when it comes to the glue down. But you can back up and I'll show you the whole piece now. So here, here we go. One long transitional seamless piece. The joint is right here, but you can't see it. It's perfectly seamless, and we're just going to put it into place. We'll, we'll do the glue down later, but I'm just going to set it into place. You can back up, get a white shot of this. And uh, there you go. So do that, basically what I just did, to all four sides or whatever your case may be, and then, uh, and then we'll do the glue down, and I'll show you that. So here's a close-up of the T-mount, um, 10 foot long, two pieces that I made into one seamless long length here. And I've installed the track, uh, basically just snapped it on there. And then this whole piece is just going to uh, get glued, glued down, which I'll show you in a minute. But I just want to show you a close-up. And then that'll fit together there with this cut piece here. Hi guys, okay, so I've got my trim pieces, they're all cut perfectly to length and fit into place, but they're just sitting there and they're not, they're not permanent until I glue them down, which I'm about to do. So um, I'm going to actually use this glue here, power grab, and if I run out of that, I'm going to try this one, liquid nails. And uh, basically I'm just going to apply the glue only to the concrete subfloor, and then I'm going to place the trim pieces on top of the glue, and then I'm going to uh, weigh those pieces down overnight. I'm going to use extra boxes of uh, laminate floor to weigh the pieces down and then um, hopefully that should come out great. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, glue them all down. Okay, hi. Uh, my floor is actually complete. I finished my floor. My battery actually uh, ran out when I was gluing down the pieces, so I'm not able to show you that. But um, let me show you the pieces that are complete. And I'm pretty happy how they came out. As you can see, nice clean pieces here. And uh, you see, we've that's actually a joint right there, but you can see that's pretty invisible. So happy how that came out. Again, there's a joint, yeah, joint right there. Yeah. It's pretty hard to see. Blends in pretty good. Yeah. Pretty happy how all the the joints came out. So. There you go, there's a joint right there. Might be able to put a little caulk in there, a little colored caulk, blend that in. But yeah, um, it's the first time I've done this. Uh, again, with the, the laminate wood floors, first time I've done that. And then with these transitional pieces, um, I actually looked for YouTube. I looked on vid videos on YouTube. Couldn't really find any videos showing me how to make these long pieces. So I just kind of figured it out on my own and uh, made a video, hopefully this video helps you. So um, if you can let me know, like this video, or if you have any questions, you can uh, ask me questions in the comments, try to answer your questions from what I learned. And, uh, oh, the other thing I was gonna mention, the liquid nails versus the power grab glue, I much preferred the power grab. Uh, the have more of a, like a tacky consistency, so it's easy to work with. Liquid nails is a little bit more runny, 
So I prefer the power grab. I also want to give you this tip. Um, this is actually a scrap piece. Um, so that would have went right here. But I want to say when you're gluing, when you're laying the glue also when you cut the track. So make sure that you, when you cut the track, it comes right up to the edge of your cut, unlike this. And also make sure when you're, I put the glue down on the ground, but make sure the glue is going to come right up to the cut. Otherwise the corner won't be quite as tight as you might like it. So, so do that. That's the one other tip I would recommend. Um, other than that, all done. So, thanks for watching.